In the next example, we will identify the Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases in their conjugates. In each reaction, identify the Bronsted-Lowry acid, the Bronsted-Lowry base, the conjugate acid, and the conjugate base. And you will see this again in organic chemistry. So for A, we have HSO4, H2SO4, I'm sorry, this is sulfuric acid, plus water yields HSO4 minus and H3O plus. So this is hydrogen sulfate plus H3O plus, which is the hydronium ion. Okay, so what's going on here? The sulfuric acid is donating a hydrogen to the water, donating an H plus to the water, and when it donates that H plus, it becomes the hydrogen sulfate ion Okay, so now it has a negative charge, and then the H3O plus is hydronium, which has a positive charge because it's picked up a hydrogen from the sulfuric acid. So the sulfuric acid is our acid, the water is acting as a base, the HSO4 minus is our conjugate base, and the H3O plus is the conjugate acid. For B, we have bicarbonate, HCO3 minus, plus water yields carbonic acid plus hydroxide, okay? So the, carbonic, the bicarbonate is acting as a base because it's taking a, an H plus away from our water to form the conjugate acid, which is carbonic acid plus hydroxide. In fact, we could draw this out. I'll, I'll just draw what it looks like now. In general chemistry, you don't need to understand what these structures are. Okay, so we have the bicarbonate here, and it actually has three lone pairs on the oxygen, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on and it's reacting with this water. So I'm going to draw the water so that it has a hydrogen that it can donate. Okay, it looks a little more familiar as an acid to us. And the bicarbonate has a lone pair that's going to form a bond with that hydrogen by pulling a hydrogen off of the water. And the bond that existed between the hydrogen and the hydroxide in the water is actually going to become a lone pair on the oxygen. So there were already two lone pairs on that oxygen. So when we get to the products here, we're going to see now the hydroxide has three lone pairs, okay, and on the oxygen. And the carbonic acid looks like this, just in case you were curious about it. And you don't need to be able to recite this structure for me. But I just wanted to give you an example of what's actually going on because I think in general chemistry we're often dissociated from the structures themselves and I think it helps to understand what those structures are. And so let's identify our players now. The bicarbonate is acting as a base because it's picking a hydrogen off of the other uh, species which is acting as an acid. It's pulling a hydrogen off of the water. The water is the acid in this reaction, and then we have carbonic acid, which is the conjugate acid of our base bicarbonate, and we have the hydroxide, which is the conjugate base of the acid, which is water. Remember, water is amphoteric and can act as both an acid and a base.